Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aries? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you're excited about this new beginning of the month, September. I wish you guys all the very best. Let's get into your reading Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. Now we're starting off here with the with the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, interesting, the Lovers, the Five of Wands, Four of Wands, whoops, the Strength card, the Page of Pentacles, the Moon, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. All right. What's going on here? So we definitely have two pages, uh, sorry, not pages, two nights here, Aries. Um, this is an indication of a lot of movement, a lot of uh, movement moving forward. This can also represent a lot of communication for the month of September. I see you guys really drawing in a lot of attention. This could be uh, in regards to romance, in regards to love. But this can also represent people just coming back around, trying to contact, wanting to hang out, being more social. Um, and I definitely do see you guys being extremely more social. For some of you guys, if your passions have weathered a bit or there's been a bit of slow movement in that department, I definitely do see you guys spicing things up for this month of September. Um, I definitely do see a lot of connections, some connections that may turn into physical uh, physical connections if you get my drift for others of you this could represent people legitimately trying to fight to get your attention now with the knight of swords uh there is definitely air energy around you this could be a gemini aquarius or libra uh water energy here as well pisces cancer scorpio i see a leo here as well um and earth energy as well taurus capricorn virgo like I said, right at the center, I see the strength card. So this is an indication of, again, your passions, being more sexually active, being more um, really embracing your sensuality and your sexuality in this month of September, Aries. Um, but we're also seeing here a, a bit of movement. Like I said, if there's been restrictions or um, you've kind of been a little bit more uh introverted lately i definitely do see that uh definitely kind of weathering and i see you guys really stepping into the limelight for some of you guys this is getting uh attention like i said it could be romance love or it could be career wise now for some of you guys um there could have been some type of connection that you had um or you were dealing with someone on a physical aspect meaning um nothing really that was monogamous um, I do see that quickly coming to the desire or the want to maybe take it to the next level. But there's some doubts here. There's some fears um, that may intervene. For some of you guys, it could be dealing with a partner that has children or it could be them dealing with you and you may have children. And it's almost like there is some type of fear there of allowing uh, them to get too close to you or vice versa. It is a general reading. Whoever has the child or whoever... Um, has children um, it's almost like they want to keep you at arm's length only because there is fear that if things don't work out or things don't turn into something monogamous um, will it affect their child so basically they're putting priorities is what i'm hearing for some of you guys you may have to weather through this um, i do see a lot of uh, for some of you guys a very strong connection and it's a physical connection um, but if you're unsure or not really uh, convinced if you want to take this to the next level it's very important not to lead the person on i feel that they are being completely transparent in this situation and again the reason the reasoning behind keeping someone at arm's length is only because they don't want to affect their children or they don't want to expose their children where their children become um you know connected to you and then you walk away that's that's a fear that's very prominent in them however i do see things progressing in a very positive way like i said if you're not ready for that type of situation and the person you are dealing with half ch has children uh, definitely try the best you can to be honest with them aries because i feel that if you make a decision that is not um, very thought out 
uh, you can later find out or feel like you missed an opportunity because I do see a genuine connection here. Um, for some of you guys, this could also represent a new beginning when it comes to love and romance. A situation that may arise or may start with something physical and actually has the potential to turn into something long term. Um, like I said, a lot of movement and a lot of progress for you guys, but I feel that for the majority of you uh, Aries out there, love is definitely going to be knocking on your door, whether it's on a physical aspect, romance, I should say, um, whether it's on a physical aspect, being more proactive and more active in that area, or for others of you just mingling and uh, wanting to go out and get to know people. Now is the time to start dating Aries, um, if that's something that you're looking for, as I definitely do see a lot of, like I said, your sexual energy being very amplified. You're being uh, able to draw in more partners, more suitors. So um, take, a, take a leap of faith and really enjoy the process. All right, my lovelies? I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.